Hey everyone, Instagram recently released an update that allows you to post multiple photos in a single post and something cool that people have figured out is you can actually make the photos look like they're scrollable from one photo to another if you crop a single image in the proper way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you A, how to do that and B, how to set up a Photoshop action so it's repeatable so you don't have to go through the tedious steps of doing it each time. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch a photo. Let's open this photo here in Photoshop. So now that we have that photo open, what we're going to do is the first thing we want to do is we want to start the action. In order to set up an action, you want to come up here to this play button. If you don't have this play button, click on window and you'll click actions. Make sure that that's checked and that'll bring up your action panel. So what you want to do, first step, is come down here to create a new action. So you'll click on that. Let's name our action. We'll call this swipe two, or for you, it'd be swipe one. I already actually did this, so I'm just gonna make another one. So then you click record. At this point, Photoshop is recording everything you do. So the first thing we want to do is come over here to our crop tool. And in this section, what we want to do is we want to crop this two by one. And what basically what we're going to do is because you need two perfect squares to make this effect happen, we're going to make the image two perfect squares, but a rectangle, and then we're going to offset those and then crop the image. So we'll start with that. It's also good to start with a photo, I guess that's more in the middle, um, because you can see the two by one is gonna crop directly in the middle in the way this action sets up. So just keep that in mind when you set up your photos. Hit enter to confirm that. The next step we're gonna do is we'll hit Command J. That's gonna make a new layer. And then we're gonna come up here to view and we want to make a new guide layout. And because I already did this, my guides are already set up to the way, the way I wanted them. But basically what you want is you want two for the number of columns and then no other options checked. You might have a margin or a gutter, but what this is going to do is give us a perfect center line to be able to line all the photos up. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make another copy of that layer. And then you're going to get your move tool. So you can click here or you can hit D. And then we're going to move this straight over. And we want to line it up exactly with that guideline. And you'll actually see that the guide will turn colors when you have it perfectly lined up. So now we're actually set up to crop the final image. So we can actually just go back to our crop tool. Let's go down and we're going to go to just the square. So we're going to push this over, holding down the shift key again. And then, like I said, the lines will turn colors when you're perfectly lined up. And then just hit enter. So from here, let's go up here to export. So let's export for web. We'll change this setting 2048. I found that that's the best width to upload to both Instagram and Facebook. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. We'll call this photo number one. Actually, we'll call this one, save, we'll hide this layer, and then we'll go back and export, save for web. Same settings, 2048, we'll hit save, call this number two. And now we'll come up here and we'll stop the recording. 
So if you wanted to check and see if this works on another photo, just go ahead and launch the photo. Edit in Photoshop. And then go to Swipe 2. So you can see all of the steps that we did. So Crop, Layer, New Guide, Layer, Crop, Export, selected the layer, hide the layer, select, and then export. So we'll go ahead and play that. And then if we go to our desktop, you can see here layer one and layer two. If we quick view those, you can see it did it perfectly. And then we can just upload those photos to Instagram as a multiple photo post. So that's a quick repeatable way of how you can use a Photoshop action to crop your photos in a certain proportion and view and make it really easy and repeatable. So hopefully this helps you. Until next time, take care.